you very much, David, for joining us. My pleasure. First day of Southern Counties. The rain set in, but yes. is it going well otherwise? Otherwise, yes. Yeah. I mean, we're t totally covered here, really. Um, so once exhibitors have got under the tents, they are fine. Yeah. We've had, it's been raining quite hard, so we've got a small lake or two, and we've got <laughs> a couple of small streams, but they'll, the ground's very good, it'll dry up. They'll quickly, go up soon. It's, it's going to be a fine day tomorrow. Super. Um, well, we, these are some in-depth, you know, heavyweight yeah, yeah. political questions. All so, right. So let's start from the top. Um, what's your affix and where does it come from? The affix is to vary. It's a Finnish word meaning companion, and it's suits our dogs very well indeed because companions is what they are. Indeed. Um, what's your favourite word? I would think negotiation. What's your least favourite word? I would think confrontation. What turns you on? Beautiful women. Turns you off? Um, beautiful men. <laughs> what profession other than your own would you like to do? Oh, that's a difficult one because I started as a teacher and I love doing that. I'm now really a journalist and a writer and I love doing that. Um, I really don't know the answer because by and large I've had a wonderful life and I've done what I've wanted to do. And I can't think, oh, I wish I'd done that. On the flip side, what job wouldn't you like to do? I don't want to be chairman of the Kennel Club. <laughs> Well, maybe you have put a political spin on that one. Um, what's your greatest achievement in dogdom? I think it is probably the way in which I have been accepted by some breeds as a judge that they trust. And there are a handful, which I'm not going to tell you in case, in case they don't believe me, but there are a handful which I feel that they trust my judgment and that gives me a great deal of pride when they bring in superb dogs for me to go over. And what about your greatest, greatest achievement outside of dogs? Um, I, well, I, was, I became a councillor and I was, became chairman of the environment at a big district council at a time when a lot of things were changing. So I was in the vanguard of changes to the way in which councils were run, so that it was the time at which they were bringing, they were bringing in co um, contracted labour, so that there was competition in things like well, rubbish collection, for mm. instance. And instead of having a lot of people who you paid a fortune to, to put new bulbs in the streetlights, you allowed people to compete Right. for the contract to do it right. and I was at the, the centre of that Super. When, it, when it was happening in the, in the district council. If you could own any breed other than your own Finnish Spitz, what would it be? Oh, oh it's so hard. Mm. I love Siberians, I love Samoids, Dalmatians, I love Rottweilers. Those would be the, those would be the ones that I came from but I also, if I was confined to a small breed, I absolutely adore papillons. papillons. I think they are gorgeous. Fantastic. Years ago, we went to a famous breeder to buy, to buy a papillon for a friend, a, an older papillon that they wanted as a pet. And this little dog came into the, ring, uh, into the room, and it was a big room with those big sofas that went all the way around. It ran around the top <laughs> of the sofa. It was about eight months old, and I offered to buy it, but she wouldn't sell it. It became <laughs> a champion, but I do love her. Um, what about a show dog from any time and any place that you would award your ultimate best in show to, who would it be? There was a Siberian Husky that was being shown in the early 80s. It was a red and white and it came under me at an open show which, and went round the ring, it was late in the ring, but it went round the ring, I said take it round and when he came to me I said take it round and I couldn't take my eyes off it, it was just stunning, stunning movement. And then when I first gave tickets in Siberian Huskies, I gave it one of its tickets. It became a champion wow. just because it was getting older by mm. then. But I gave it one of its tickets. Don't ask me to remember the name, <laughs> I can't do so. Well, thank you very much, David. Best of luck for some sunshine for the rest of the weekend. And thanks for joining us. Good. Thank you.